Reach the fingertips up, take a big breath in. Exhale, curling up. Pilates style. If you're ready for it, reach those legs out to high 45. Pilates stance the legs, start to pump the arms. Exhale, lead it out. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, reach through your fingertips. Exhale, pull that navel in towards your spine. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, squeeze your inner thighs together. Exhale, point, lengthen through your toes. Inhale, keep it going. Exhale. Hey, Olin, you can. I love your name. <laughs> Big breath in. Exhale. Keep squeezing those inner thighs. Now we're doing great. Last one. Exhale. Hold. Lift your legs up to 90. If you need to, bend your knees into that wide diamond shape. Swing the fingertips up and lower the head, neck, and shoulders. On your next exhale, keep your hips down and crunch up. Inhale, lower down slow. Exhale, lift up, inhale, lower yourself. If you're keeping your legs long and squeeze together, make sure you're not rounding in that low back as you come up. You keep that tailbone heavy. You only come up to the amount where you feel that little squeeze right below the breath bone, and then come back down from there. So we're really working those upper abs, right? So when we kind of lift through the hips, we're working a little bit more through the low abs. Don't worry, we'll get to those later. So really focus in, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Last one. Hold it up, just lift it to the shoulder blades. So press the shoulder blades down, squeeze the arms to a hover. Right leg reaches low to about half leg. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, lower half. Exhale, lift it up. If it's too much to have the head still lifted, you can always put it down. Exhale. We'll have a chance to bring it back up again later, so don't worry, you're not missing out on ab work. Trust me, you ain't missing out on ab work. We're going to do ab work this whole time. You have plenty of time to get it in. So take care of your body. Take care of your neck if it's starting to strain. If you feel like you can keep it up, but you're starting to feel it in the neck, what if you lengthen behind your neck a little bit? You can even take the hands behind the head, elbows wide, to remind yourself that you can keep up with those strong abs, but not work so hard in the neck. Lifting that leg up, back heels together, a little bit of the knees if you need it. Let the head, neck, and shoulders find the floor, arms by your side. You tick tock the toes over to the right and to the left. You remember, you can always put your hands slightly underneath your hips to make sure that the hips are sort of staying in the same plane as one another, right? They're not sort of swiveling up and down or um, kind of stretching through the sides of the body. As you tip over to one side, try to keep the heels together, right? If they slide apart, don't go so far. When you feel this through the entire abdominal wall, especially in those obliques, especially as you bring the leg back to center, that's where your exhale comes in. So inhale, you tip over, exhale, use the opposite side to put yourself back to center. Hold there, swing the fingertips up to the ceiling, here we go, second round of this crunch. Lower down slow, exhale, right? Whole abdominal wall working, but especially those upper abs. So if you can, press the shoulders away from the ears, Imagine there was a box in between your forearm and your shin, and you were sort of pushing into that box just a little bit as you reach up. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Good. Breathing. And squeezing those heels together. Lengthening through the toes. Keep lengthening through the legs. If the legs are straight, get a little tiny squeeze to the inner thigh. That'll help you feel a little bit more of those low abs, even though, again, we're focusing on the upper. Last one. Lower just into the shoulder blades. Swing the arms to a hover. Other side, left leg, lower top. Exhale, to lift. Inhale, we lower. ATL in the house. Exhale, you lift. Good. Is it hot and hot in the right now? Exhale, you lift. If it is, I'm jealous. Good. Reach it low. And exhale, bring it. Listen, it's hot in our powerhouse right now, am I right? Exhale, bring it. A lot of humor. Good. Reach it low. Every time you reach it low, it's getting longer through the leg. Keep that Screw, so we'll set the head down after this. Left one. Lift it up. Lower the head, neck, and shoulders. Hands can wrap underneath the hips. We tip it to the right. View the legs down and around. Ooh, feel the back door. Come over to the left and center. Bring it to the left. Lower it down and around. That U shape to the right and center. 
Try not to shorten the side of the torso. Keep going up to the right. Lower it down and around. Even though you will feel like you're slightly shortening in the torso when you come over to the side, see if you can try to keep that leg in between the armpits and the hips as best as you can. Great. Left one each side. If you're fatiguing or the heels are sliding, just do a little bit of a smaller V shape. Great. Back through center. Squeeze the leg into parallel and the right one each the chest. Let's take a little bit of a rest. Maybe rock side to side and still feel how, even though this is a little bit more of a passive moment, you can still feel the core kind of guiding your knees side to side. Okay, back to that 90 degree angle. You can choose to keep the legs parallel or to pull out against the legs. Working on the low belly, arm by your side. Exhale, pull the belly in, lift the hips, and then slowly bring them down. So do that deeper, slowly bring it down. Now for this one, we can let the feet come over the head just a little bit to help us find balance. This is a jackknife where the legs are trying to sit up a little bit um, in front of the face. This is a little bit more of a prep for that rollover. So we can kind of let the feet go in front, especially so that we can slow down the putting down of the hips. So if you come up, exhale, try to pause at the top and then slowly come down. Good. Parallel the legs as you lower to high 45. Bend the knees. Find the heels just below the knees and press up shoulder bridge. You can lengthen out through the abdominals, bring it down. Exhale, squeeze up. Inhale, lower slow. Great, exhale, lift it again. Squeeze through center, so glutes squeezing towards one another, and then lowering it down. Think about a slight tuck lift, and inhale, lower, tuck the toe. Good, tuck lift, and lower it down. Good, hey, good, Phoenix. Good, breathe, tuck lift, lengthen, and lower down. After this, we're rolling up and then preparing for a roll over. So keeping that in mind, as we extend the legs out, hip with distance, arm come up, bicep by the face, big breath and lengthen. Exhale, start to curl up. Try to keep those armpit by the ears, or bicep by the ears, armpit open and reach forward, curving through the spine. Exhale to lower down, can keep the bicep by the face? And it's gonna make it a little bit harder to those upper abs to ease your way back to the floor. Exhale to come up. Slowly control. Inhale at the top. And exhale to come back down. So this last time, we're really gonna set up for the roll over. So if you need more space behind you, just keep that in mind. Coming up. Maybe at the top, you shift your legs or hips a little bit more forward. So you have room. And then as you roll back, I'm gonna start to swing the arms in front of you. Place the hands by your side so you can squeeze the heels, lift the legs through parallel, high 45, lift the hips. Open oh, your legs are parallel to the floor. Point the toes and then flex the toes. Open the legs and roll it down. So here's where those hip lift kind of sensation comes in. Legs to 45, squeeze point, lift up, lift over. Pull the navel back just like your roll up. Now it's basically your roll up just upside down. Flex open. Slowly pull the navel in as you ease the hips down. One more time like this. Squeeze the leg point. Lift up. Lift over. Pull the navel in. Flex. Open. And slowly roll it down. Great. We'll go the opposite way with the legs. So keep the legs flexed and open. Exhale. Up and over. Point. Squeeze. Come down. One more like that. Flex. Open. Lift up. Lift over. Exhale. And point. Squeeze. Hold it, go slow, 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 slow. We're gonna transition from here. Once your tailbone touches the ground, lift up through your Pilates curl. Go right knee towards your chest, left leg out to high 45, go right into single leg stretch. Start slow. I want you to see if you can find that neutral tailbone on the floor, that neutral spine after all that flexion. So go slow, you're gonna make your middle like this. Breathe. Inhaling for two. Exhaling for two. It's slow and controlled. Find that long spine, last five. Stay up, ready for double leg stretch. Knees together, arms and legs apart. Exhale, circle the arms, tap the knees. Try not to let the knees come in further than 90 degrees. Inhale, open, reach arms and legs away. Exhale, circle arms, tap. Right, we're holding that strong low belly. Exhale. Right now, this is a little harder the further your thighs are away from your chest. 
when you come back to that starting position. Right? You're actually asking the abs to stay engaged the whole time rather than release a little bit by bringing the knees closer to you. If you need that, however, then you can always find that little modification so that you can keep going. Because that's the idea, right? Getting stronger so you can keep going. Last one, hands behind the head, knees still in tabletop. Lift up past your shoulder blades and start the crisscross. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Slowly control, you got 35 seconds. It's a long time, so no need to rush. I'll let you know when you have about 15 seconds left, and then if you want to go for it and get your heart rate up, then you can take it a little bit faster. So let's take this first half slow and control, really burning through these obliques. He's in a cross balls. 15 seconds. If you're ready to pick it up, let's pick it up. Breathe. It might happen a little bit faster. Already at 10, 9, 8. We're going to slow it down after this. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Legs out, 45. Head comes down, arms by your sides. Take a second. If you're ready, pull out and stance your legs. Jackknife. Now the legs will come towards you. You pull the navel in to lift the legs up. You can always touch your low back with your hands if you need it. You can start with your feet over your face, and then over time, when you're up there, when you squeeze your legs oh, a little bit, try to find a nice okay. long straight walk. Then soften your hips back, feet a little forward to slowly roll down your spine, and legs to 45. Over time, the idea is to not use your hands on your back, but instead use your hands on the floor. It's so much forward. Five strength. Soften the hips, come back down. Pull the legs in 45. Parallel them and tap the feet down under your knees. Take your right shoulder bridge. Back and set. Let's do reset. Lengthen, squeeze those hips up and lower down. Exhale. Lift. Inhale. You lower. Exhale. Squeeze up. So it actually should feel like a kind of a similar sensation to that gut knife. I know that <laughs> it might seem really different, but if you think about that long low back when your legs are up above you, could you try to mimic that same sort of feeling here in shoulder bridge? It means that your hips won't lift it as high and take it into that arch, which is exactly what you want. You want to keep it long and keep it in the glutes. Last one that comes down, legs together, reach it out to high 45, plus the hips legs, fingertips up. Big breath in, we're putting it all together. Look where you want to go, exhale. Come up into your teaser one. Let's do a teaser two at the top here. So we lower and lift. Using that little belly two more times. And lift. Last one, lower, lift. Teaser three. We lower down slow. The legs are going to come with us. Ankles touch right before the hands and shoulders touch. Prepare, last time. Inhale. Exhale with me, want to go. Push it all up, teaser three. Ooh, find it, hold it, five. Navel in four, three, two, parallel leg, flex the toes, open the leg, put the leg down as you sit up, and reach over, front stretch forward. Inhale, roll up. You keep using your abs, even though things start to slow down. Hey, Sherry, California. Ooh, Malibu. Ooh. Ooh. That's what I always think that when I see Malibu. Beautiful place. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, up and over. Malibu! Inhale it. Exhale. What can I say? Pilates makes me giddy. Pilates makes me so happy. Good, last one. Reaching it forward. Coming up nice and tall. Squeeze your legs together. Circle them around behind you. Take it into our swan. Just slowly down from here. Your swan be part of your practice, relax your legs. Feel your core strength lightly as you lengthen and lift. And slowly lower it down. This is also so good for your shoulders and chest. If you drop the shoulders, open the chest. Think of those collarbones opening. Right? You can even give your head a pencil. No. And returning chin over each shoulder gently and easily. And then coming back down. The last time. The big breath up. And exhale, coming down. Press your hips back over your heels. Use your strong arms. 
Take a little rest pose, maybe rock your head again side to side. Just let them go that neck one more time after all of that strong, strong flows, curl work. Take one more breath into your back. Exhale, slowly pull your butt down to your spine to roll yourself up over my butt, really controlling it with the core. When your head comes up last, the last time, arms up. Keep your core strong as you soften the arms down. Amazing work. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys are always such an inspiration. Have an amazing rest of your day. I'm Patricia, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm a cat woman, and see you next time. Bye.